Alright, is this thing going? It's totally going. Alright, listen. This is Adam from Robot King Studios, and I know you're already wondering what I have to tell you today. Well, that's very simple. You see, today is a day for planning. Do you know what planning is? I know what planning is. Sometimes, when you have to go ahead and build something, when you have to go ahead and paint something, what you need to do is you have to sit down and do some planning. So that's what I'm doing. Planning. Alright, so what's the plan for the day? Let me tell you, it's quite simple. First things first, we need to make some sketches. Or at least, some concept ideas. Because before you can start building something beautiful, and by the way, the name of the game today? Madness. No, I'm just messing with you. The name of the game today is Planning Eldar Terrain. Special Eldar Terrain. Yes. And sometimes, you gotta start with sketches. Let's get ready. But, Jesus bejoozles. You know, first things first, I need to clean off my work desk. Or else I won't have any room to sketch. Well, Gizmo, we need to clean off the desk. There's paint all over it. Cigarette ashes. Yeah. So, before we start sketching, I gotta clean this off really quick, and then... <gasps> I'm gonna make some sketches! Here's the thing, though. Before I start sketches... I mean, I do have to clean my desk off so I have room to sketch, but here's another question. What do I use for inspirational drawing material? Eldar terrain is something that, well, is fun, is different, but I've been working so much with Necrons and Tyranids and Space Marines lately that, um, well, I might not know what to do. So where do I look for inspiration? Well, I can always look at, um, art. Oh. Art is good. I mean, <clears throat> granted, this is an outdated codex, but that doesn't matter. An outdated rulebook. But look, art. I mean, I need to get a physical feel for what I'm doing. And you know, if you look back here, you see some sort of city. Well, my goodness. And then, of course, there's things like that to give you stylistic flavor. But I need inspiration. I mean, I'm keen with demons. I'm fine with Necron. I even know so some good bits about the Dark Eldar. The Dark Eldar, I don't know. But... Where am I going to go for inspiration in case I need to go ahead? But look at that. That gives me some ideas. Hmm. You know, <clears throat> Goodwin did a lot of nice art in the ways of Eldar. And, um, I may just be relying on him. But, as I said... What I'm doing today is special. So I have other places I can look for inspiration. What do we know about the Eldar? Dun, 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 dun. A bunch! So, sit tight, because things is going to go crazy. I'm going to look at a bunch of inspirational things, and then I'm going to start drawing. And I'm going to let you watch some of it. Stay with me! Okie dokie, so the desk is cleared off, and, uh... Now it's time to get some drawings done. A little conceptual madness. But what, but what, but what? What do I want to start with? What am I going to draw? What am I going to do? Goodness. <clears throat> well, let's be honest. The only way to start is just by starting, you know? I mean, get an idea, go from there, right? Exactly. Alright, so obviously the first thing to be done is to sketch up 
some ideas. But <clears throat> what exactly to sketch? What exactly to start with? And how to direct a project like this? I guess I'll just start drawing and use inspiration. See, the uh, the other are fun because they use things like curves, straight lines, all sorts of madness. Now what I need to do though, is I need to properly capture what essentially will be non-linear alien design. It has to, of course, look organic and fit the essential principles. of Eldar construction. But I also have to be playable. So pieces will need to fit form and function of Eldar life. But then again, how do you define Eldar life? I don't know. I'm rambling now. Now, some people will point out the fact that I'm not using any sort of straight edge or anything, I'm just drawing, but that's the great thing about graph paper, it gives you an idea of what you're doing. The great thing is graph paper easily um, can be increased in scale to fit whatever you need to do. Also, some shapes are really easy to do on graph paper, and when you increase the scale to an actual uh, piece of foam or whatever, or resin that you maybe cast, or whatever you do, however you do it, um, it's uh, really easy to make shapes that are possibly hard to freehand in um, foam into things that are easy to carve uh, segmentally, seg in a segmented kind of way. So you just go ahead and you, you pick an idea, and if it doesn't look good, you go ahead and... It really is important, though, that um, anything you do fits the style of the people that you are trying to do it for. Now, asymmetry, uh, tapered tones, all sorts of fun things. And right now I'm getting shapes. Um, shapes give you the basis of what you're doing. From those shapes, you can go ahead and try to... create a three-dimensional object. Which actually isn't as hard as you'd think. Or whatever. I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch some things uh, and see where they take me. when I apply them to a three-dimensional world. And actually, I'm going to be starting to do work-in-progress sculpting as I do this, too. You, you people know I'm crazy, so just stick with me.
This all looks like madness to you, I know. You don't know what that is. You have no idea what that is. You have no idea what the purpose it Does it matter? Maybe. But being as, uh, concept and reality are two different things, don't worry. Use your imagination. Come on. I know you want. Bet you're already curious what in God's name is going on here. Because I just showed you that I was drawing things. But now, what am I doing? <gasps> I'm carving foam already? And into what strange shapes? Do you remember those weird pictures? I want you to think about that. I want you to conceive of what my crazy mind is coming up with. Yes. I've already begun. And, um, yeah, all this stuff looks like a mess right now, but, uh, a little sandpaper, a little putty, a little extra shape carving, we're gonna have some really interesting looking things, and I know you can already see that I'm adding things, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be cool. Piece number one. is under construction. Yes, this is just going to be one piece. Because sometimes you have to make something really astounding and wonderful for people to see what you're doing. And you can see that next to my computer. It's not exactly small. So, stick with me. As you can see, Adam the Robot King is hard at work. 